In our time in the Gospel of Luke this week, we're going to be in Luke chapter 11, and we're going to start in verse 1. If you want to follow along or listen along as we look at what happens here in Luke chapter 11, we're told in verse 1 that it came to pass when Jesus was praying in a certain place. Jesus spent much time in prayer, often by himself, but often with his disciples around, with others around. So Jesus was, was here praying in Luke chapter 11 when one of his disciples said to Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. So one of the, one of the disciples, we're not told which one, but they wanted to know about more about praying. And, and they apparently knew something about that, how John the Baptist spent time teaching his disciples about prayer and how to pray. And so Jesus, we see in the rest of this text, does just that. And he begins in verse 2. He said to them, when you pray, say. So here in this first section, in verses 2 and through, two through 4, Jesus is going to give really an example. Some people called it a model of prayer. Um, it's not so much you know, something that is to be recited, but it was teaching the disciples who we're praying to, what we should be praying for, and what really is important. In verse 2, Jesus said, when you pray, say this, Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We know on another occasion, Jesus you know, gave this same lesson, this same example, same model in the Sermon on the Mount as we know it. Jesus said much the same thing when it comes to this model of prayer, this example of prayer, of praying to God the Father and glorifying his name, holding him in reverence, praying that God's kingdom and his will would come and be done in all things, relying on God for our daily bread and our daily needs and relying on God for forgiveness under the understanding that we're to forgive others who have debts and sins against us. And then again, asking God not to lead us into temptation, delivering us from the evil one is what we are praying to God. And Jesus begins with that. He tells them, here's how you pray. These are the things you should be praying about to God. Well, then Jesus isn't done. He actually goes on to say in verse 5, gives them a, a parable, or really a, a situation, an example. He says to them, which of you will have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And the friend will answer from within and say, Do not trouble me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give it to you. I say to you, though he will not rise and give it to him because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence. He will rise and give him as many as he needs. So Jesus kind of gives this illustration of, of friends. And one friend has some company that comes to him and he doesn't have you know, food to feed them. And so in the middle of the night, he goes to his other friend, has to wake him up and say, hey, I need this bread, I need this food. The friend says, listen, go away, it's, it's night, this is not the time to be doing this. And so at first, the friend basically would tell the other friend, go home. I'm sleeping. My family's asleep. This isn't the time. But the friend who persists to knock and ask and say, hey, please help me, the friend will then, out because of the persistence of his friend, will get up and do this. Well, what does Jesus want them to learn from this, of this persistence? Well, he says, continuing, verse 9, so I say to you, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, 
and it will be opened to you. Ask, seek, and knock of God, of our Father in heaven. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. If a son, he gives another example here, if a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead of a fish? Now those kind of maybe uh, silly, ridiculous examples that he gives. You know, that if a son, a child asks for, you know, something to eat, well, you know, a parent's not going to give them a rock or a snake, but they're going to give them what they need. Or if he asks for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? And of course, we would laugh at that and say, oh, no, of course not. Parents are going to take care of their children. Well, if you then, verse 13, if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? God, our Father, loves us, cares for us. God wants to be with us. God wants to help us. God wants to provide for our needs, spiritually, above all, and yes, even physically, when he so chooses. What Jesus is teaching his disciples, his disciples are, you know, this one, I'm sure, the others teach us to pray. What Jesus says, really what it comes down to is learning to have faith and trust in God. And by our faith and trust in God, really, our prayers will come naturally. There is no official, um, there is no official, uh, you know, regulated, diagrammed way that we have to pray. Yes, Jesus teaches us some things. Here, there are some basics, there are some things in praying to the Father, so forth. But Jesus' point here is, Really more so that our prayers to God should come from the heart. And that we have faith and trust that God hears us and that God wants to help us. That God will help us. That God will give us his spirit. God will help us through his spirit. God will provide for us spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally. We've got to have this faith. Teach us to pray should really, the heart of that is teach us to have faith, increase our faith, to take our lives, our hearts, our cares, our needs to God, along with and really, first of all, our thanks and our praise and our love for God and relying on Him. Today, we need the same thing. We need, we, when we we need to ask God, help us to pray, but it's, it's really about help us to have faith that we can pray and pray about these things, knowing that God hears us and God loves us, God cares for us, and God will help us. Let's put our faith and trust in God and pray. And when we need help in prayer, come to passages like this. And remember how much God loves us. Remember how much God hears us and wants to help us. Ask, seek, knock, pray. God bless us.